Hey everyone. Um, today I want to show you how to make homemade canning jar labels. Um, we have stuff that we can every year and kind of helps if you put a date on them and then they look better if you give them to um, the friends and stuff. So this is kind of what I've designed and I'm going to show you how I've gotten to this point so far. So the first thing I did is I added a circle to my mat. <coughs> I haven't sized it yet, so um, you know, I'm just going to move this one out of the way for right now. But I like to work with things bigger, not that big, but just bigger because it's easier to see and to size things that way. So with your circle uh, selected, you're going to go up here to where it says fill and it's currently on no fill because it is set to cut. I'm going to change that to print. And then where this is now black, I'm going to click on that. But I don't want it to print just a color. I really like this gingham color or design. And if you didn't know this, you can drop this down. It says pattern. So this is going to open up patterns you have available to you to use. You can also, just like images, you can upload your own um, patterns as well. And since I'm going to make two labels, see, is there any? I just stopped at the gingham when I was scrolling, but I like gingham. I think it looks fun and, and homemade. Ooh, that's really cute too. So we're going to do the blue check on this one. Okay, I'm clicking off of that. And then I want to add something up here. So I just went with chicken because we have chickens. Um, so I'm going to click on images and I clicked on chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the chicken. I'm going to try this one this time. This one is subscribed um, in Access. So if you have Access, it's available to you. If you don't, it's on Animal Silhouettes. So I'm going to use this hen here on this one. I'm going to put it up here. Clearly that's way too big. And then I'm going to add some text and I'm going to stay with happiness is homemade. And I'm using country, I believe, yeah, country life is my font. Oop. Bring that up here. Goodness, grab it. Come on. And I'm going to size that down as well to make it fit on my label. It's kind of hard to see that with that blue pattern though, isn't it? So I might have to get rid of that blue. Because I don't think white would show any better. So let's pick a different pattern easy enough to do. You just click on the patterns. Let's see if there's something else that's not quite so dark that I like. Hmm, I might just stick with that red gingham. I wish there was a different color of gingham. That would be pretty. I'm making two size labels. Oh, here's a blue. That's cute. Okay. So I'm making two size labels. I have smaller jars that have tuna in them, and I have larger jars that have asparagus in them. So first thing I want to do is I want to center these. Nope. I always get those confused. Try the other one. As soon as I think I have it right, it's not. Okay, so it was already pretty centered. And then in here, I want to add, we'll do this one for the tuna. Kind of funny to have a chicken though with tuna, huh? Do we have a tuna image? No, not really. Okay, so we will just stay with the chicken. Maybe make them a little smaller. And then I'm going to add my text again. And this I can choose a different text than the one 
that I have already for Happiness is Homemade because you want it to look a little different. So let's see. Oh, goodness, I clicked too much. <coughs> let's find one that's really bold. I don't know that I like that one. Yep, that'll work. And now I want to center all of those because I changed the size of my chicken. Okay, now for this one, okay, this one I'm going to do, um, it's a two inch. I've measured the, the inside ring on my canning jar and it's where I can put a sticker is two inches. So I'm going to put that at two inches and then my asparagus I'm going to make at two and a half inches but I want to make sure I spell asparagus right uh, no I don't know let's see here asparagus I cheat, you guys. I use the voice text on my phone all the time when I'm not sure. Asparagus. And Aunt Patsy, if you're watching, mm, love your asparagus recipe. I will be making more as soon as I can get some. Um, I'm going to align these. I'm going to move that up just a little bit, baby. Okay, so now I need this one to be two and a half inches. Okay, so now I want to make sure that these go print and cut. So the first thing you do to do that is you flatten them. It makes them all one layer and you can't um, can't change anything anymore. It makes them one thing. So I'm using some Cricut printable vinyl. I'm just going to print these off, put them on my jars, and um, show you a picture of that um, right here in the blog post. So I hope that this helps you out. I hope you can see that you can do so much more than you think you can in Design Space and really how easy it is. A lot of people don't even know that pattern feature is available in the print and cut option. So um, I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening. Hey everyone, me again. I was just kidding on saying thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you how it works with the print and cut. So I ran this through my printer my printer, for whatever reason, does not like vinyl, and it always jams up in the back. So I got a couple creases here, but the mat holds it down, and you can't even tell. So I just have to tell my machine that I'm using printable vinyl. I haven't done that yet. And, of course, it's Cricut printable vinyl. That's all I use. And so when you're doing print and then cut, my chair is in my way. It prints this borderline around it. <coughs> and that is the sensor marks for the machine to see. And I'm going to move this so you can see it as well. What it does. And hit go. reads the sensor so it knows right where to cut. And you can do this on your Explore. I'm using my Maker. You can do the same project on your Explore. That was easy.
easy. So now I'm going to grab my jar. I took a, a wet rag. Move this over so you can see. I forgot you don't just automatically move with me. So I took a, a damp rag a little bit ago and wiped this off. So there's my asparagus. I'm going to peel. And I'll take it off of here first. Feel my sticker. There. And then my tuna. I'm going to do the same for it. And yep, that's real tuna, guys. Right from the Pacific Ocean out of Oregon. No, I did not can the tuna. But I did the asparagus. There you go. You could date. You could date them. We we go through them pretty fast, so they don't last a whole long time. But there you go. There's some fun, easy ways to give gifts or just label your stuff so you know you know what you got. So thanks for watching for real this time. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you soon.